Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in the beautiful and ancient city of Jeddah in Saudi Arabia on the Red Sea coast. This is a city with ancient history and they're known for seafood. So today we're gonna focus on seafood. This one called Najil, the star of the Red Sea. We are gonna go to a restaurant that has, it's legendary for seafood. We're gonna have some of the local fresh catch from the Red Sea. They're gonna cook it right in front of us. And then after that, we're gonna go around and eat some street foods. This is the deal. Now we're gonna have real dinner. <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. Pigalbak? Pigalbak. <laughs> so that's the plan for today. All of the delicious seafood and street food is all coming up for you right now in this video. Today, we're meeting up with Hisham, a local food vlogger with a huge passion for Saudi Arabian food. Hisham, welcome to Al Balad. Thank you very much. Now we are in Jeddah, in the oldest area in Jeddah, it's called Al Balad. Our first meal today is gonna to be seafood, fresh, local, from the Red Sea. And because the, the Red Sea has a very high salinity, uh, the fish is already pre-salted, right? Yes! So like they don't even need to marinate it. Yes! Um, it's good to go, it's good to cook immediately, no seasoning, straight from the Red Sea. Yeah. We're gonna eat a lot of seafood coming up right now. Yalla! Oh man, Let's it's go. gonna be good. This is the shop. All right. It's called Al Basli. Basli, it's, it's come from Basal. Basal, it means onion. The real owner, he used to have some onion with him all the time while he's walking and buying fish and cleaning fish. So people stopped calling him, hey, Basli, Basli, Basli. So he named his restaurant Al Basli after this, uh, after this story. He is the grandson. This, yeah. this place has been over 50 years. 75 years. 75 years. Yeah, oh. you see the... Since 1949. Oh, cool. Yeah. A heritage restaurant. Step inside. So it's, it's a small restaurant, but it's really homely feeling. And they have this glass cabinet, which is filled with the fresh catch of the day, everything from the Red Sea. So you can pretty much choose the seafood that you want and they'll prepare it fresh, hot, Jeddah style. The fish look really, really good. This one called Najil. Najil, it's the star of the Red Sea. All that beautiful red fish. So that's something we have to try here. This fish is the most expensive fish in the sea. This is called shaur. Okay. People love it to be deep fried. Okay, so we're just first here in the kitchen getting a tour of all the different seafoods and the different fresh fish in the cabinet. The fresh catch of the day. Yes. Man, it's just so fresh, so clean, straight from the Red Sea. And then we're gonna see the cooking process of how they, they deep fry them, how they prepare them before we eat. The Nigel, that's yes. one of the prized fish of the Red yes, Sea. It's, and it's beautifully red in color. That fish just gets a little bit of salt, but like no batter, no other seasoning, just a little bit of salt and goes straight into oil. The season gonna be after the fish is ah, done. Okay. They will put it. So if you season it before you deep fry it, the season will be burned. You know. Ah. So that's so one of the techniques that they yes, do here. Yes. Yes. This is the technique. You will smell it. You will smell it. This is seven spices. It gives it some uh, sourness, and there is coriander, fresh coriander being blended, and there is also some cumin. Oh. Did you smell it? Not yet. Come smell it. Oh yeah, it's all so good. Oh man, so he's dishing out that rice. That is a bathtub, that's a huge pot of rice. Um, and Tosham says that that's a specific type of rice that you eat along with fish and seafood. And it's so aromatic, oh man, and you can just smell the, the spices, the Arabian spices, the aroma. And that fish is ready, and it's gonna be seasoned, and I think we're ready to go eat. This is the seafood uh, soup. It's made out of shrimp and fish bones with some spices and some lemon. It's gonna be amazing and figalbuk. You have to try it. Squeeze lime, a lot of lime. I saw everybody over there squeezing the lime first. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Figalbak? Figalbak. <laughs> it's mean in your heart. So that means in your heart. Mm -hmm. Like 
oh, it's such a like like a seafood chowder almost. Like yes, yes. Creamy, mm -hmm. shrimpy, a little bit of tartness to it. Yep. yep. Oh, it's great. Wow. And look at that big pieces of shrimp and fish in here. This is just the beginning. So fresh. Yeah. I think we should take a bite of a shrimp real fast. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Fried shrimp, fried wow. fish, crabs, lobsters, ah. the vegetables, everything is ready and there's so This is the Sultan variety. table. You know Sultan? Prince Sultan table. This is it. Yummy food from the Red Sea. Let's dig in, huh? All right. Let's dig in. Let's move that. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's the fried shrimp. So crispy. With just that, that seasoning of that, mm -hmm. that coriander and the, um, the sumac. Sumac, yeah. Oh. Coriander and the oh, sumac. Delicious. You have to dip it with this. Okay. Tahina. Okay, let's do one more bite. Oh, check, tahina. check, check. Let's dip it with the tahina. Check the spices. Okay. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. And you can eat the whole tail and all because it's all crispy. Whoa. Oh, with the creaminess of the tahina, it's delicious. Mm. Okay. They're gonna part out that crab. Mm. Yeah. We're gonna get started with the fish, with the rice, and all the other dishes, but Check the crab. everything is fresh. Everything is from the Red Sea. Mm. So good. And there's the lobsters too. So this is the meal now. Now he will go down, break it, take the meat out, okay. so we can eat it easily. Okay, I'm gonna try the nigella, the fish. Huh? This is one of the stars of the show. And you take a whole square, the way they, the way yes, they cut it. Yes, that's it. Take the whole square. Go ahead. Oh, you can feel how crispy it is on the skin and then how moist and yeah. oily it is on the bottom. Mm -hmm. mm. That contrast of textures from ultra crispy to just like, almost like fluffy, cloudy, and moist. Whoa. Just with that light seasoning, it's so good. Wow. Now, this is Indian turmeric, check. The sauce name is Homa. I'll grab a piece, dip it into the sauce. How much sauce, yes. <laughs> Something else? It's so refreshing, yeah. <laughs> so refreshing. So refreshing and tart. Yeah. And I can't wait to try that rice, which has been fried in the fish oil with onions browned. Look at how fluffy the rice is. Mm. It's so fluffy. And like a little bit peppery. Maybe cardamom in there too, some spices? Yes! It's so aromatic. Okay, now I will give you the biggest mix. Sure. One second, one second. Okay, so you pour some of the tamarind sauce onto the rice. Wait a bit, wait a bit, wait a bit, wait a bit. Some of the tahina? Uh-huh, wait a bit, wait a bit, wait a bit. This is chili sauce. Oh, chili sauce, nice, okay. Okay, wait. This is the ultimate bite. Oh. Sauce. <laughs> you gotta add a nugget of, oh. of the nigel. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now, put this inside. Okay, inside. mix it together. This is the ultimate bite. Here we go, here we go. Oh my god! Yes! Mm. Oh! <laughs> oh, the coriander. Uh huh. The green chili. The oh. tomato. The tamarind. It's all in your mouth at once. It's like making a music party inside, right? <laughs> it's a party in your mouth, yeah. It's a party in your mouth. <laughs> okay, now the, the meat of the crabs. They took everything out yes, the shell, yes, yes, and then it's just the, yeah. look at this, I've never seen a, the entire pile of crab <laughs> de-shelled oh. conveniently in a single bite. Bites. Bismillah. Mmm. Mm. Whoa. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so sweet. It is. Oh, man. Sweet and salty and just those herbaceous spices just mm. sprinkled in it. Oh, it's so good. Too much omega-3, right? <laughs> An overdose. Wow. Should we try the shrimp? Yes. Check how juicy it is. Oh, very it's juicy. Drizzled in. Yeah, cheese. Garlicky sauce oh. and oils. First, you have to. Mm. Wow. Smokiness? You can taste uh, the smokiness. The garlicky, like, lemoniness of it, and then you can suck all that juice out of the head. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow, I love it. It's so crazy. So we have the next fish. Okay, he's coated in a spice blend. Yeah, and then this one is, this uh, is baked, the baked fish. Yeah, baked one. So you're gonna go from here because here is too meaty. Oh, okay. It will no no bones. Okay. Just go. Oh, from so you here. can go from this side. Yeah, this side okay. is better. All right. From here, 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 this one, this one. Oh my Whoa. God! 
It's deeper. It's so deep. Look at how much meat there is. Oh, too much meat, yeah? And look how oily and juicy it is. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god. I love it. Spectacular as well. <laughs> yeah, again, incredibly moist and juicy. Mm -hmm. And it's just absorbed that spice blend, which is not overpowering at all. Mm. But just like mild and mellow garlic, tomatoes, maybe some. Uh, some light seasoning, but nothing overpowered. Nothing overpowered. Check how juicy it is. Whoa. I'll put this onto the rice, some of the coriander. So good. The local spiny lobster. That is creamy. And this small fish, gotta get that calamari. All the green peppers in there. They love the, the fresh herbs and vegetables. Mm. Mm. Great. That was spectacular. Again, it's called Al Basali Seafood. Great place, highly recommended in the Old Town in Jeddah for delicious, fresh, local seafood. Founded in the seventh century, Al Balad is the historic center of Jeddah and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. With beautiful architecture, a network of narrow lanes and alleys, markets and restaurants, it's really a fascinating place to explore when you're in Jeddah. Wow, I mean, the houses, the trees, the market, the, the culture here, and as you're walking down the, the ancient alleys, you just get smells and aromas of the spices, the cardamom hits you in the nose. The, it's just a, an amazing place to explore. I mean, you have to walk around when you are in Jeddah. So after lunch, we took a walk through the old town here, yeah. and we, we were like winding our way. Like, I could not even tell you where we are, but all of a sudden we have ended up in my tribe house, it's called Ba'ishin House. Uh, it's one of the oldest house over here and it's one of the biggest one. Wow. You have to see how they used to live inside. Okay, let's go inside and see. Okay, cool. Yeah. Here is our big tree. Ah. Uh -huh. And all the prophets that came to the earth and uh, uh, from last uh, prophet, which is Muhammad, till the Adam. Oh. All the names, you will see it over here. He's uh, the best friend for uh, Prophet Muhammad. He's your <laughs> grandfather? Grand, 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 grandfather. His name is Abu Bakr Sadiq. Okay, this place is called Roshan Cafe. Roshan has come out of the design of the, uh, of the place. It's called Roshan. tribal history here and house <laughs> and they have a coffee shop here so we're stopping so, here for some yeah. good coffee. When I guess come to my house or any house in Saudi, first thing we serve it's the Saudi coffee. Oh thank so you. So this is the Saudi coffee. The Saudi you coffee. You can smell the aroma first. Yeah. The they're not roasted right? It is roasted. But we roast Lightly? it in a way until it becomes blondie. We say it blondie. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. So it's not served sweet the coffee so then yeah. you eat it with the dates and that kind of mm -hmm. contrasts the the bitterness with the sweetness yes so sticky and so sweet mm. oh. that combination of coffee and dates will never get old it's yeah sweet. yeah never the perfect combination oh i love it So we had a little bit of a rest this afternoon, but it is the evening now, it's time for dinner. We are going to a place to eat something called mutabak. Now we're gonna show you how we eat dinner in Jeddah. So they're making the murtabak, 
and he takes this piece of dough, he literally slaps it out until it's like transparently thin, puts in a little another piece of dough, and one of the main popular ones that they make is this handful of chopped leeks. That's the herb that goes in then tomatoes, then a little bit of minced meat, and some spices, some seasoning powders, then adds in an egg, and kind of I love that hand massage mixture, the yolk into the herb. Uh, flattens that out, wraps it up into an envelope, and then it goes on to this massive griddle that can fit about 20 of them that's just hot and sizzling until they're golden crispy, and then they get boxed up, or you can eat it here. Oh, that's a cool process. Those are huge. That's gonna be so good. Kind of like a herbal omelet wrapped within dough. This is the deal. This is the deal. Now we're gonna have real dinner. <laughs> are they all four different? Yes, four different, four different four varieties. Different. The classic one, it's egg and tomato. And there is one with meat, and there is one with tuna, oh. and one with cheese, and yeah. one with cream and honey. Wow. Yes. So they also have savory and sweet version. First of all, you gotta put oh, some squeeze. lemon. Squeeze. So what do we have here? This is just the the classic, I think, right? Um, With yeah. leek, tomato. Yes. Bismillah. Mm. Mm. No, wait, 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 wait. Mm. Chili. You have mm. to eat chili. This is the trademark. Mm. Done. Mm. Huh? Oh, the green chili is fantastic. We got it back? Very good. The dough is so thin. You've got the, the fragrant leeks. I think this one is the, the meat one. Yeah. Bismillah. Mmm. Wow. You have to say, Alamat al Jawda. Alamat al Jawda. It means the trademark. The mm. green chili. Mm. Okay. The green chili is awesome. And then, it's killing. We also have some of the classic hot sauce, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be generous. Yes, yes, yes. That's it, that's it, that's it. There we go. Mm. Mm. That was killing. Mm -hmm. That was killing. With the hot sauce, it adds that vinegary tanginess to it. It is. Another one. We have is just cheese? Yeah, cream oh, cheese. Cream cheese. Oh, Finally, okay. the, the, sweet the sweet one. one. Yeah. The sweet one. Honey and cream. Oh, and it just kind of like, oh, that squeezes out. Oh. Squeeze. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Oh. Mm. oh, it kind of has like a, tastes like a cheesecake almost, like a liquid cheesecake. Here we go, this one's with the yellow cheese. Mm. The green chili? Yeah, that one is really good. The herbs just kind of melt. The egg, the the breading and the casing and the, the dough is just so thin. It's, just, it's really good. And it's not oily at all, actually. So we're going to one more place tonight and that's gonna wrap up this food tour today. Okay, so we're gonna be eating a couple things here. One of them is the whole lamb head, which he just like dismantles and scrapes off all the meat. Mundy head. And then the other thing are these little meal kebabs, little tiny like bite-sized little ball kebabs. Usually kebab is grilled, but this one is deep fried. Whoa! Wow! See how yummy? This is leg broth. Leg broth. Oh my god. Yes. yes. Oily and thick. It's always give you a very, very good energy. Yeah, you can take some lemon. Yeah, to cut the fattiness of it. Bismillah. Ah, now it's good, huh? It's really comforting. I like how he so conveniently cuts off all the head meat from the bone. He dismantles it with such expertise and then chops it up. Cumin, spice mixture. That head is amazing. Completely deboned. Okay, uh, I will. I will give you some sauces. Oh, this what is, is that? This, this is tahini. Tahini? Like chili. Like a pickled chili? Yeah. Okay. Then, lime. 
There's cheek, there's brain. Get a little bit of, oh, there's some brains down there. There's tongue. It's mm. all chopped up and mixed within. Ahmed Mendi Ras. Oh, that's the beer that I want. Oh, that's the beer that I want. It's so creamy and stringy and flaky that melts in your mouth. That is so tasty. So many different textures with the tahini in there too. You can see this is our bread everywhere. I think I'll go with the bread. bread. Oh man. Drizzle on that tahini. Deep fried bite sized little ball kebabs. You dip it into the egg salad. Good. The meal kebab. Kind of has a, a little bit of a sourness and then it's crispy and bite sized. So we're ending with some dessert. This is the last like item for today. It's, almost, it's kind of like a pudding, like a pudding with sagodana. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Mm, oh, the cardamom. Mm. Mm. Yeah, milky, and you taste the texture of the little balls of sago. And a little bit of spice in there, mostly cardamom, right? Cardamom and caddy water. It's a flower mm. water. Okay. That is very fragrant, very aromatic. Well, that's a good way to end. And so on that meaty lamb head meal, that completes this amazing day in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. What a day it's been. What an incredible city. And we are traveling around Saudi Arabia eating some of the traditional and delicious dishes. Uh, so be sure to stay tuned for all the videos and keep watching. And I want to say a big thank you to Hesham for taking us around and Abdullah as well for organizing and the Ministry of Tourism here in Saudi Arabia for making this happen. And so that's going to wrap up this video here in Jeddah. I want to say a big thank you for watching this video today. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. Good night from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. I'll see you on the next video.